is still desperately searching for answers decades after their loved ones got on a plane that never landed. They're asking for help figuring out what happened, and they're talking to our own Jamie Sherrod. It's very hard. Of course, I'm retired now. The Block family is still seeking closure more than 40 years later. John Block was 30 years old when his parents, John Block Sr. and Jean Block, planned to fly from Detroit to Luzerne, Michigan on July 4, 1977. But their plane never landed. So my brother called me or I called him and said, hey, did uh, our parents show up uh, at, at in my own, did they skip coming to Traverse City and vice versa? And they said, no, we haven't seen or heard from them since. John was at work when he got the news. He and his brother immediately started an active search that night. It's a search that continues today. The aircraft did not land at its intended destination. Former commercial pilot Patrick Richardson says at the time, the plane was considered overdue. But decades later, it still hasn't been found and is now classified as missing. There's no evidence of what could have happened, and a crash site has not been located. But some witnesses say they saw the plane going down. We had one eyewitness in Rose City that wrote a letter that said she saw a plane matching our description, but also you got to remember that conservation and DNR planes are also green and white, which my grandparents' plane was green and white. You know, a eyewitness said they saw the airplane go down uh, in the in a, in a lake. Yeah, but everything everything was eliminated. John says his dad, who was a Detroit fire chief and had been flying planes for almost 40 years, wasn't known to fly over water. And he was definitely afraid, afraid of putting the airplane down in the water and it breaking up and then sinking. So there might be a guy out there fishing this afternoon and start starting to bring up airplane parts out of the water, but very unlikely. Right now, they're asking for the public to keep their eyes out for anything that could be the missing piece to this heartbreaking mystery, focusing on the Huron National Forest and Atlanta State Game Area. You may walk across a, a pile of rubbish that you think is just junk, um, could actually be something substantial. And if uh, we need to get the word out there. I uh, would ask them to look not just on the ground, but also in the forest canopy, because aircraft that are this light can also be lodged in the forest canopy, and people don't always think to look up. That was our Jamie Sherrod reporting. The family told her they're especially asking hunters, DNR, conservation officers, and law enforcement to keep an eye out. And if you see anything, contact the Grand Traverse County Sheriff's Office or local law enforcement.